Aries, hello my loves. Welcome back to another monthly love reading for December 2019. This is what does your soul want you to know when it comes to love? Okay, I'm also going to pull <laughs> the very fun uh, a card from the Rebel deck. This is the Harsh Truth, the Tough Love uh, Oracle cards. And uh, so please don't be offended. Just take uh, what the card is saying. Uh, don't mind the cursing or the harshness or the straightforwardness. Um, it does actually hold weight when it comes to uh, picking up on your energy and giving you guidance. Okay. With that being said, I've already been shuffling the cards. I'm going to shuffle a few more times on camera. And let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe Source, what messages do you have for my Aries in love for December 2019? The final reading, final monthly reading of the of the year before 2020 comes to us. So <laughs> Okay, give them understanding, wisdom, guidance, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for clarity, healing, and freedom. This is for my Aries in love. What messages do you have for them? What does their soul want them to know when it comes to love? What does your soul want you to know, Aries? Alright, last shuffle. Okay. I'm going to cut the deck and then I'm going to pull you a Rebel Oracle card. Let's see what messages we have for you. Hey, Aries. Aries. What do you have for Aries? Okay. So it says, if you are waiting for a sign, well, here it effing is. I love that. I love that. And on the back says, uh, what are you waiting for? Get it done. What are you waiting for? Get it done. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you're waiting, well, let's see how that plays out. I like that. I like that a lot, Aries. I'm an Aries Venus. Maybe it's for me. I don't know. All right, Aries, what does your soul want you to work on? The moon. Okay. Some sort of illusion. Hiding something. Hmm. All right, what's in your subconscious mind when it comes to love? The will. Okay. Hmm, this is strong, strong energy here. What is, what is your obstacle when it comes to love? The fool. Hmm. 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 The potential outcome. Seven of Wands. You have... Three major arcanas so far. Your homework. I'm going to give you some homework, which can kind of be like guidance and uh, advice. But it's actually something you should be doing, like homework. Okay? Which is the Empress. Okay. Your underlying energy. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. All right. Ooh, I'm excited for this reading. This seems to be pretty interesting so far. You have one, two, three, four major arcanas. So, hmm, I don't know why is this shaking. Okay, I don't know. All right, so the moon is here. The moon is what you need to work on. Your soul says... Aries, work on this. This is about some sort of delusion, right? This could be you're hiding something. Um, needing to illuminate something. I don't know. Why is the moon card here for Aries? Why is the moon card here for Aries? Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not going to take all these. Show one, but I'll take the two that flipped over. That's usually my rule. If it flipped over, I'll take it. 
Mm. Three of Cups, Two of Swords, in Reverse. This is about, um, a, this could be a third party or uniting with someone, reuniting with somebody. What is the energy behind the moon card? The six of pentacles and the four of swords. Equal give and take, accepting something, giving to someone why is the two of swords in the reverse the five of pentacles okay I think you are I feel like you're delusional <laughs> I mean I, I don't know how else to look at this I feel like you are delusional when it comes to reuniting with someone wait what is the energy behind the two of swords in reverse the seven of cups in reverse Um, I mean, the Seven of Cups talks about having willpower, like being determined. The Two of Swords in the reverse, it's like releasing something, letting something go. Like if you are blocking something, it's like you're no longer blocking it. So it's like releasing it. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. This could be someone from your past. The Six of Cups wanted to come out. Okay. Wish Fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Cups. Cup Energy. Mmm. water I feel like this is something you're you could be emotionally attached to it to something if you what okay if you want to receive some sort of wish fulfillment you're going to have to see things you're gonna have to look at the truth of something What is the energy behind the Three of Cups? What is the energy behind the Three of Cups? The Lovers. And something else. The Lovers is here. Okay. Um, and the Judgment. Renewing. The Lovers. Okay. If you want to renew something, if you want to reunite, I think this is representing reuniting because the judgment is here with the lovers. You're going to have to give up something. You're going to have to release something. Because you have a... What is the energy behind the five of pentacles? Damn. I mean, I feel like I know what it's saying, but I just want to make sure. What is the energy behind the Five of Pentacles? Mm. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Queen of Wands. I what I'm getting. Oh, what okay, I'm getting. I'm getting a message, but then it's not clear, clear to me. I I think you want to reunite with someone, right? You want to come together with someone, um, I think somebody you love. Like you want to renew something that you had with them. But you, 
you, I think you have someone else in your energy, Aries. I think you have someone else in your energy. That you left out. Like, you left this person out. I don't know why you delusion, delusional, though. Tell me more about the moon. <laughs> oh, because you're holding back. Why? Why is the four? Why is the five? Um, excuse me. Why is the four of pentacles here? The two of wands in reverse. You're not okay. You're not taking control. I I don't know why. You are. The four of swords is here. I think you're just you're not giving to someone I, I think you you left somebody out in the cold maybe you're taking a break from giving your energy to someone but I think the moon is here is because if you think that this person that you want to reunite with is just gonna be like yeah sure come on and you don't really have to do anything um and you could just hold back and be distant and withdrawn. I think that that's the delusion. Because I have the six of pentacles that's giving, but then it's like I'm retreating. Like I'm not doing that. And then you have, I'm holding back from taking control and being dominant. But I want to reunite. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I'll reawaken this. I want, you know, like I'm releasing this old past, this person from the past. You're releasing, yeah, that's what I'm getting because you have a wish fulfillment here. Why is the six of cups? I'm sorry. Why is the nine of cups here? The, de the devil in the moon. Okay. Um. So with the devil, it's like an unwanted situation. Wish fulfillment, wanting satisfaction... I mean, I think you could even want to have sex with this person. I mean, that's what the devil is here for. I mean, because right now you're at a three. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm at a ten. But I think you love this person. But you, you kind of just want to reunite with them. Like, you want to get to get, get together with them. Like, you enjoy spending time with them. You want to have fun with them. But if you think that they're going to give you this nine of cups, I don't think so. Again, I, I feel like the, I think you're just you're li you're you're kidding yourself. I think you're kidding yourself with this moon card here. Aries. All right, we got to move on. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. You're kidding yourself if you think you can run back to somebody that, you know, reuniting. Like, you used to date this person that you could just, like, oh, no, it's almost like do nothing. No, you have to do something. I feel like you want to sleep with him, too. Because the, the Nine of Cups is like a pleasure card with the devil there. Um, you're not really saying it though with the moon. It's like you're keeping that to yourself. But if you think you could just r roll up in their life and um, reunite with them and sex them up and you don't have to give anything, you could just be withdrawn. No, you can't do that, my darling. I'm sorry, you can't. So... What's in your subconscious mind is the will. Because I feel like you were taking a break for, uh, from something. But you can't. It's like while I'm on this break, I want you to be here and sex you up. No. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you, there are some people you could probably do that with. But the spirit is saying, um, you need to work on this. Like it doesn't work that way, my dear. You're going to have to give of yourself. Why is the wheel here? Oh. 
the Knight of Wands. So the wheel is here. This means a uh, new opportunities, destiny, progress. This is a fortune. This is change. This is new cycles. Something turning in your favor. You um, are wanting to take a risk. You're wanting to follow a passion of yours. But I feel like you were holding back for some reason. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yep. Oh my God, Aries. The stars. Wishing, hoping, and praying. There's a wish you have here. A new opportunity. But you're holding back from it. Why is the stars here? You're, you're holding... Okay. Oh, 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 okay. The world... A whole new world. Then we have this one. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh my goodness. And then let's see what's over here. <laughs> These flew out. You got the Ace of Wands. The Nine of wands and the eight of cups wow aries oh my goodness okay wow this is in your subconscious mind why are you holding back you want all this you want to take a risk you want to follow your passions because you have a wish fulfillment you want a whole new world you want to end old cycles and start new cycles i mean the ten of wands in the reverse like you are like you have the energy, the strength to do this, but why are you fighting yourself? Ace of Wands, new beginnings that you're passionate about. Perseverance, stamina, you have all this. You're leaving something behind. But this is only in your subconscious. Up front, you're holding back. What is the energy behind the will? Mm, Nine of Pentacles. The strength in the lovers, fire energy, Gemini. Uh, strength. This is on uh, the nine of pentacles is uh, Leo, Virgo, Leo again. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo with the lovers as Gemini, air sign. You're wanting, I think you're wanting some sort of new opportunity, something to turn in your favor. I feel like it's here. I feel like the new opportunity is here, but what, uh, what, what's stopping you? Why are you holding back? Why are you retreating? What's going on, my dear? Listen, you got some, oof, you got some strong cards here. You had a lot of major arcanas. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a divinely guided situation like this person coming into your life or you reuniting with someone you have a connection with. I feel like you love this person. Even the lovers popped out again. It's almost like I don't have the strength to love. I feel like you, you ended something with someone because you were releasing something. Maybe you were releasing the energy of a previous relationship. But you want something very magical. You want a whole new world. You want um, love. <laughs> Aries. You want love. So the obstacle is the fool card. Taking a leap of faith. Starting something new. I see your theme here. You, I don't know why you're doing it though. Why is the fool card here for Aries? Why are you doing this? The Queen of Cups in the reverse. You want to take this leap of faith, but... Are you feeling sad about something? Like you're unhappy with what? Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? You're conflicted. You're, com you're conflicted. I think you're just thinking so much about something. You're conflicted. Maybe a queen of pentacles, an earth sign, an emperor. Maybe two different people. I think you were dealing with someone and you still feel something for them. I think that that's what's happening, Aries. I think you feel something for that person because you were trying to release them. It was a queen of wands. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles and an Emperor. 
your obstacle is starting a new path, taking the leap of faith because it's here. But you are holding back, conflicted about a queen of pentacles. You're conflicted. Why is the emperor here? Uh, the ten of wands in reverse again. Needing the strength. What, I, I feel like a part of me feels like um, you just drained. I think you dealt with the relationship that ended. And you're still in like the healing process, the getting over process. And you think I, you could just reunite with this other person. I think there was somebody else that you love. And you feel like I could just get with this person. Let's just keep it physical while I go through this withdrawal, like retreat. Like it doesn't work that way. If this is somebody you love, why do you want to treat them like they're a boo thing? Like they're some booty call. Now this could be the cross watcher. Let me just make that clear. This could be the cross watcher. If this is not making sense. If it sounds like it's the other person. Um, it could be the rose flip sometimes. But it's like, no, don't, don't treat this person. You love this person. Whoever it is you want to reunite with, you have love for them. I have the lovers twice. And maybe you feel some kind of way about starting something new. Maybe you'll have to start so soon, right? Maybe you should go through the heal through the healing process and you won't be looking at them as a booty call. Like they're just not somebody you could just have pleasure with. Let's let's just go out to dinner. Like how do they feel about it? Or if they're cool with it, then fine. But if they aren't, you can't do that. I I don't I have a feeling this person is not cool with it. Because why is spirit telling you? To get out of your, stop being so uh, delusional. You think that this is how things can work. I don't think that that's how it can work for you. But I think you, this ten of wands in reverse, I think you need to heal. I, I don't think you have the capacity to love somebody right now. To really give of yourself right now. But if you want this person, you will do the work. You will do the work. And I think you should communicate with them. I would have to do a personal reading on your on the person you're reuniting with. But I think if they are participating and cooperating with you, I think you should communicate with them um, your truth. Be like, you know what? I just went through this very terrible relationship or a breakup and I'm still dealing with it. I'm still hurt by it. I really love you. I've missed you. I've thought about you. I'm here to connect with you, but I need some time. But I still want you to be a friend to me, close to me. I, I want to offer you something, you know. I want to offer you something, but right now I just don't feel capable of it. My emotions are all over the place. I'm still hurting. I'm still confused. You, know, you get what I'm saying, Aries? If you want to do that, I, I feel like I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You might find people are very supportive when they know your truth. But if you're just being withdrawn, like, hey, can you come over? It's like midnight. No, I can't just come over. Because you're doing it because you love this person in your subconscious mind. It's like, I love this person. I want this opportunity with them. But I don't know. Okay. That's the obstacle. Starting something new. You're conflicted. It's almost like you don't know if you should. I kind of get that too. Like, should I do that? Should I? Well, maybe. That's the obstacle. Why would it be an obstacle? So the potential outcome is the seven of wands. Someone's defensive. Um, someone's on guard. This could be just standing up for yourself ready for war why is the seven of wands here for the potential outcome okay oh sorry dang that's a lot okay that is a lot of cards okay i'm going to put these back i'll consider them but um, that's a bit confusing for me. Too much going on. 
Okay, let's try that again. Spirit, can I get fewer cards, please? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go, there we go. The Hermit. Oh, the Queen of Cups again in reverse. I think you're just going to stay withdrawn. I mean, I like that you're more in hermit mode than the four of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? The hermit mode is at least it's like you're going within. You're you're searching for your inner strength. Because right now, I think you're just really I think you're feeling down. You're in like this gloomy mood, very moody. And very on guard. What is the energy behind the Seven of Wands? <clears throat> the sun. The sun. I think you're starting to see, you'll start to see something for what it is. Why is the sun here? The, yeah. You're going to start to see that. Um, I think that this is going to show you that you can accomplish this if you pursue it. I think you don't see, there's something you're not seeing clearly. Even with the moon card, like, you're delusional. I think you're about to see the truth of something. And that's going to cause you to pursue it. Why is the Knight of Swords here? I think it's going to cause you to go after it. Yep, but, but you're still going to be in this, like, uh, pessimistic mode. You're going to be going back and forth. But that's what happens when you're in introspection, when you're healing. You you weigh the pros and the cons. You're going to feel <clears throat> encouraged one day and discouraged another day. Um, so don't feel too bad. Don't beat yourself up too much. But I think as long as you're doing the work and you're treating people fairly and like they actually have value and they mean something, they're not just like some booty call. I mean, you could not be treating them like a booty call, but it's like, oh, I only want to have drinks with you. Oh, I only want to talk on the phone with you. I never, you know, you don't want to progress and move forward. That's not cool. Like, that could make somebody feel some kind of way. So, your homework is the Empress. Oh, this is evolving. This is nurturing, um, being abundant. This is about accomplish, accomplishing, accom can't talk, accomplishing something. So why is it Empress here for Aries' homework? Seven of Swords. Can I get something else? No. Uh, why is the Seven of Swords here? The Queen of Wands, a fire sign. Escaping a Queen of Wands. That came out earlier. I feel like you were trying to release a Queen of Wands. Getting out of this, getting like escaping this situation with a Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Knight of Wands. I think this is just you moving forward. Your homework is to get out of whatever situation you're in. Like run, get out of it, escape it. Why is the Knight of Wands here? I don't think it's a good one. Not the way you were feeling, I don't think. Leaving you in this gloom. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. I think you need to... Ace of Wands. Moving something you're more passionate about. What is the energy? Like you need to look at it. Evaluate it. Take a look at it. Look at it for what it is. Again, you got the moon card. You might be deluded. I don't think you're just delu delusional about this reuniting with this person. But maybe in other areas too. Because your homework is to evaluate something. Like really look at it. Look at the truth of it. Why? What is the energy behind the Empress? What is the energy behind the Empress? Okay, Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Wheel, Ten of Cups in the reverse. I feel like, I think it's time for you to evolve. I feel like you're wasting your time. 
if you are still dealing with um, this Queen of Wands person, like, it's going to be a waste of time. Like, nothing is going to become of it. We have the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Yeah. The Four of Cups. This is disappointment. This is, um... This could be you telling you to focus on yourself. But I feel like this is going to be a waste. To start something new is going to be a waste. You're going to end up disappointed. I think this is why your homework is to evolve. To start something new. Be the fool. You, you know, your, your obstacle was the fool. Taking a leap of faith. Moving towards something new. Remember your card said, hey, if you're waiting for a sign to do this, like, it's here. Here it is. Like, I think you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Like, what are you waiting for? But I think you should heal. If you, if you haven't healed, then you should heal. If you have gone through the healing process and you're just scared, you don't know what's going to happen, I think the card, the oracle is saying, go for it. It's here. Here's your permission. Um... But I think if you start something with this Queen of Wands, because your homework is to escape this. Like, get out of this situation. Like, really sever the tie, cut it off, move away. The Knight of Wands is here. Like, go go follow your real passion. Like, what are you really passionate about? Because, like I said, um, it's going to be a waste to start anything new, any opportunities with this person I think you're going to be left disappointed. Mm -hmm. So whatever situation you're in, get out of it. Energetically, emotionally, financially. Like, I, just leave this person alone. Like, get out of it. Be the Knight of Wands. And not in and out, because Knight of Wands can be in and out. This is just, I feel like this is saying go after your passion. All right, my loves. That is all I have for you. I hope this is helpful. I hope it makes sense. Some of it didn't make sense to me, but, you know, I read what I see. And, um, yeah. Good luck with this, Aries. I will be seeing you guys soon. Okay. Mwah. Deuces.